Iowa State with a pretty comfortable win over South Dakota State. 82-65 was the final. Iowa State had five different guys in double figures. Momchilovich, Lipsy, Gilbert, Jones, Hassan Ward off the bench in 10 minutes, 10 points, 5-5 five for five from the floor. Uh, one of the better offensive performances I think you will see from this team. That offense has really bounced back from uh, a couple weeks where they were really cold at the end of the year. Defensively, they were solid, if not very good. Zeke Mayo did uh, kind of get going a little bit. He hit four threes, had 19 points, but it's to be expected. We knew Zeke Mayo was a good player, and overall, Iowa State controlled this one pretty much from start to finish with a few hiccups along the way. What did you think of the Cyclones? Yeah, you know, what? what's what's the point of being a, a, a two seed, a three seed, a one seed, if you don't get a little bit of a scare in there? Something to just make you feel something. Uh, some people took that a little bit too far. Kentucky Wildcats but uh yeah I, I this game truly wasn't ever really in doubt in my opinion I mean we we came on here we did the preview for the game and I feel like we kind of hit the nail on the head like Zeke Mayo would probably be able to have a pretty good game which he did uh it had his moments in this game but you know this Iowa State team if anything it was good to see even though it was against lesser competition so take with a grain of salt that they were able to put up points um because, you know, obviously this is a team that makes their money on the defensive end. But like you stated, getting those good games from the guys like Gilbert, uh, Manchilovich, like the, the offensive output was impressive in this game. Um, and I think it's what has people so high on Iowa State um, because you saw towards the end of towards the end of this season in Big 12 tournament and in this game in the tournament that they can score points that they need to. They're not just like a one-dimensional team where they need to – you know, get stops in order to win. They were able to do, a, you know, they were able to get their stops that they normally do, but also they were able to uh, get it done the offensive end as well, which, you know, uh, I think bodes well for them moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, there's a couple of things that bode well. One, the way they're playing. Two, how deep they are, how just solid they are on both sides. Three, the draws kind of now hear me out. Uh, they're going to have to, it seems barring a surprise, they're going to be on a collision course with Illinois, which would be a really fun game. With that said, uh, Illinois gets Duquesne in the second round. They get Washington state. Both those teams were slight underdogs. Like Washington state was not supposed to beat Drake as kind of crazy as that sounds in hindsight. Um, to me, like, I'm not really worried about either of those games for those teams. So it's hard not to look ahead like a full week to a potential Iowa state, Illinois matchup. But um, I don't know. I just, it's one of those regions where, you know how we said the West region coming in was like chaos and anything could happen. And then we're looking at this region. Like we know exactly what's going to happen here. Like Iowa state's going to take care of business. The first game, they're going to take care of business. The second game, we will have a preview up of that game at some point, but like, this was just business as usual to me with Iowa State, right? Yeah, this was a really good team taking care of business. That's all it was. Like, they they didn't play with their food. They didn't, you know, they didn't mess around and, like, keep it close the whole game and then pull away late with, like, eight minutes left. They they got to a very quick lead in this game, almost uh, 19, 20 points. Got close. Got it right back to 19, 20 points. Had their guys fill up the stat sheet. Got up out of there. But, um, you know, uh it's a team handling business, like I said, but you know, they're going to be able to get these. Like if, if we're going to get tournament March Montilovich, like, you know, he has that ability to put up like these, these point per total games where he has like, like he had 19 today. Like he has that ability to have 15 plus points every game. He doesn't always do it, but either based on just Iowa state's offense or just his personal play, how he's doing, but that's the type of ability that he has. And you know, I'm buying into this Iowa State team if it is Gilbert, Lipsy, Machilovich, Jones, all those guys contributing. Yeah, they uh I don't know. It bodes well to me that Lipsy was good tonight. Like he hit three threes, had seven assists to one turnover. He has not always been good down the stretch. It bodes well to me that Momchilovich was hitting shots. He was awesome tonight, eight for fifteen from the floor. Uh he early in conference season, I felt like was like maybe the best offensive freshman in the country. And then he kind of disappeared for a couple of weeks. And now here he is back. Uh, kind of interesting on a night where like the Kentucky freshmen who are mocked so highly, no show. Mila Momchilovich was really good and led Iowa State in scoring. Am I, am I being too creative trying to backdoor my way into like this has actually been the best freshman in the country all along? Everybody's a gangster until Jack Golke walks through that door. <laughs>
Jack Golke wasn't walking in that door for South Dakota State. Uh, if Jack Golke was on South Dakota State, what happens tonight? <laughs> They I'll tell you what happens. Iowa State locks him down. That's what yeah. happens. Yeah. Like, that, that's what I was going to get at. Iowa State's not letting that happen. Yeah, this is a great defense with a lot of good, lot of good players. I'll be interested to see where this team goes. I don't think we need to spend too much more time on it. To be honest with you, this was pretty much exactly what we expected. Uh, there was a little spread drama though, wasn't there? Wasn't Iowa State favored by sixteen and a half? They win by seventeen. Yeah, there was. Uh, were you, also, were you on uh, this? So it was 15, actually, I think it was. It closed that. I went alternate line over at the good folks on my bookie. So I did minus 19 and a half at plus 165. Felt great about that for most of the game. Then didn't feel great. Then felt great again. And then didn't feel great. And lo- ended up losing. But, you know, it is what it is. Gave your best run. Yeah. Uh, well, if you want to try and go alternate line like Carter in the next Iowa State game, you can do so with us at my bookie. We have a promo code sleepers. You can get a deposit match bonus as a first time user up to $1,000. That's a lot of dollars. Uh, take advantage of it here in March. My bookie is great. Anything you're looking for in a sports book, you can find. They got player props, expert predictions, odds, boosts, futures, etc. We place all our bets there. Link in the description, promo code sleepers. Take advantage of that $1,000 bonus uh deposit bonus when you sign up as a first time user all right cart thank you i almost just congratulated you i don't know why you're not a cyclone i mean i mean they are my cyclones you look like a cyclone right now take that however you want to okay you move your body like a cyclone and you make me want to do it all night long okay and the video, the recaps. That's what the word. The the recaps all night long. I don't want to do that either. Is this really worth it? 